Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll be exploring the, the top motorcycle luggage and options for commuting. If you're looking for a convenient and practical way to carry your essentials, you've come to the right place. I'm showcasing a variety of motorcycle luggage from rucksacks to top cases that you are sure to fit your needs, budget and style. Whether you're a daily commuter or just somebody who loves to ride, having the right motorcycle luggage can make all the difference. From durable materials to innovative features, these luggage options are designed to maximise space, accessibility and comfort. Plus, they come in various sizes, shapes and colours, so you can find the perfect match for your bike and personality. So sit back, relax and let's dive into the world of motorcycle luggage for commuting. First up, you need to think about the budget and the reality of your everyday and future use. Will it be just to carry your packed lunch to work? Or your work laptop? Or maybe you want to go for that tour three or four times a year. Why splash out on expensive lockable hard cases if you'll never use that amount of space? Or leave valuables on your bike? After all, it can be picked up and stuffed in a van, right? So what's the right option for you? First, we have the humble backpack or rucksack. Clearly the most basic option. And in countries where the weather is predictable and mainly dry makes the obvious choice. Carrying electrical equipment, like a laptop, and at all costs cannot get wet, then look for a dry bag. These are excellent, but they can be expensive. I've had mine for five years without it leaking in what can only be described as dishwasher type weather conditions on a motorway. Next, we have tank bags. These sit on your gas tank and are perfect for smaller items like wallets, keys, phones, etc. They usually have clear pockets on top so you can view maps or directions while riding. I've always seen the downside of these as having to be removed to fill up, as most clip on over your filler cap. Third on the list is saddlebags. These are great because they're sturdy and you can hold a lot of stuff. What do you mean they're the wrong way around? They're the right way around, surely? No? Ah, uh, turn that picture around. I don't know who does the editing around here. They can be made of leather or hard material for extra protection and they usually come in pairs. Some of these will require fitting kits or brackets to keep them away from moving or hot parts, depending on the size and style of your motorcycle. Easily hold a laptop, etc., and can be carried inside like a work bag. We also have tail bags to choose from. These sit on the rear of your motorcycle and can hold an awful lot of stuff. They come in different sizes and shapes, so you can choose one that fits your bike and your needs. These may require you to find ways to securely fit them to your motorcycle, so they're not easily removed by somebody else unexpectedly. That covers the options you should be able to take with you inside your place of work or of course a hotel. The next options are permanently attached to your motorcycle and is designed to be left on while parked. The top box or top case comes in a variety of sizes and are from many different manufacturers and they require special motorcycle specific fitting kits to attach them. These can be useful if you want to put a smart bag inside and store some of your gear when leaving your bike, say your crash helmet or waterproofs, or maybe even your locks while you're traveling. A similar option would be to add panniers or side cases to your motorcycle. Normally you would fit a pair and weight is best distributed evenly of the items you're carrying. Also, depending on the size of the panniers you fitted, these can actually hamper your ability to fit through traffic when filtering. But again, they come in for different sizes and designs but are normally locked to the motorcycle and have available inner liners that can be removed. But these normally come at extra cost. You could add both the previous options if you wanted to carry a large volume of items. Like if you wanted to go touring or off on holiday. Storing these boxes, if not in use on the bike, could take up a lot of room. Indeed, they don't fold flat, so you need somewhere to store them if you are going to take them off to go for that Sunday blast. And there we have it. The top motorcycle luggage types and options for commuting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more motorcycling tips.